guys. Um, my name is Jeff Long. I got first place at my OTS this, this weekend on Saturday, playing pure sky striker. Uh, here's my list. I played uh, three uh, three ace ray. Um, she's a staple. You need her with with hundred joint at one. You need to play three, three ash and uh, three ogre. It's pretty much staple how everybody's running the list. You, you could run the the extra bit. You can cut her and run more hand traps, but I feel like this is a perfect amount, perfect ratio of hand traps. I was debating to run mainly Bell and DD Crow. Um, honestly, you don't have room right now, so this is the perfect amount. I run a total of nine hand traps. Um, we'll all and triple impermanence, which is the, 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 the total of nine, but everything is perfect in my opinion when it comes to hand traps. So. Uh, we got the triple engage and the triple widow anchor. Um, this card is, I feel, is the most broken card of the deck. Pretty much says if I have three, if, if I have three spells in my graveyard, I'm gonna snatch through your card and kill you with your own card. And then the mirror just pretty much says I steal your own card and I'm gonna use it to to go off and gain you as well. Engage is self self explanatory. You have three, you draw, you pretty much plus two. So it's like a part of grade. Um, triple twin twister because I don't want to lose to alter guys to Draco as well as in the mirror it's really good I'll pop in their widow anchor and all their back row most of the time that was end with two back row and multi row so what you'll do is you'll, you'll pop the two the, the, the blind, you'll blind pop two most of the time it's it's not mostly a widow anchor or ego booster or something that's like stop your share ride um, it, was, it, came, it came in very clutch triple share ride or how I like to call it the new maxi um, self explanatory and you're going to put a lot of stress striker right now that's the meta set this and Activate it. Either they're, either they're gonna take the challenge or not. Most of the time, a good player's not gonna take it. So they'll stop there, and the next turn you're gonna just win. They'll push for the win, and that's what it pretty much is. They, you'll be lucky to get a game three in the mirror. It's pretty much game one, game two, time, and if we're gonna life points, wins or tie. Um, two, uh, two area zero. I did not miss three. I was playing three, but I, what I noticed is something when you put the third one in, it does make it more consistent. But at the same time, you activate it, you call, you call it, and you won't get a scatter card. So it could also be very bricky. Um, yeah, I only played two. I didn't miss a third. Two terraforming. Played the two, and the MVP of the weekend was multi roll. This card is so broken. Um, yeah, you just activate it, you activate all your scratch air cards to the end phase, you pretty much recycle everything you activated. Make sure you leave you, you leave your girl with three spells because a lot of people forget. And you pretty much keep doing it over and over and looping the play. And by usually by second or third turn you pretty the game's already over if you keep you keep those in the graveyard and it's it's really broken. Um, call for the grave, another really good card. I got gold a lot this week this this weekend and this couple, this kept saving me. Um, yeah, and also in the mirror, they will, um, they'll pay cost for Ray. You can chain after that, banish Ray, and they won't be able to summon the, uh, the Sky Shaker card. A lot of people don't know that. I don't know why they're not doing that. Um, and the one of were Hornet Drone, Afterburner, Jammy Wave, um, Shark, Shark Cannon. Cannon, Eagle Booster, and Hercules Space. All of them are perfect. I think any one of everything. I don't know, I don't know why people are not playing Jammy Wave. That kind of threw me off. Um, yeah, I mean, it did come up where I did miss. I thought that I did miss a second with Eagle Booster, but I didn't. But I, I mean, again, you have limited space. I, I don't want to run more than 40 cards. So everything, everything I think the ratio is perfect. Um, if anything, when I get to like my last tech card, I, I might. I will go over why I did not play two, two Eagle Booster. Um, when Rhoda, which is against self explanatory, and my the tech card, I actually won me my top four, Cut of Desires. Um, I saw a lot of people running two and three at the, at the 200s. I went to Mexico, but um, and I also heard in Ohio they're running it too. I wasn't running it, so I ran it this time. This actually won me my top four. Um, the my my reasoning behind this was I wanted to play upstart. The thing is, again, you give time now, so if you give them a thousand life points and you lose and, you, and the time is called, you might end up losing by a thousand life points. So this is more of a, a more of a like. Forget about it. If they, if I, if I, if I, I banish it. If I don't draw it, it's fine. And if I do draw it, I win. So I think that was it. I was gonna be ego booster, but I'm actually really happy I played this over ego booster. This was one of my, uh, my, uh, my top four. Uh, we're gonna go to the side, to the extra deck now. Walter Jewel, my best friend Walter Jewel and Cesar Chavez. Only gotta play Paleo at Worlds. A fact. <laughs> Tokens. Uh, triple Kagari, very satisfactory. Triple Shizuku, and today and this time I played Triple Hayate, which was really really smart. Again, you go the time. It's all about time now. And in the mirror, it's super grindy. You, you most likely you will not get into game three unless your opponent breaks game one, and you keep. And then game two, you guys will drag it out, and then game three. 
you're either gonna end up winning by either by time or just tie. So this is a, this is a you need to run her at three now. It, you, I always in the mirror. I always win my third one. It always came up. Um, but yeah, you, 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 she needs she needs to be at three. Um, Phoenix, Ngrusu, Unicorn, Bulbasaur, Topologic, and Clara. Um, I honestly did not go into Bulbasaur or Unicorn. I didn't even I, this whole weekend. I went into Topologic once in the finals. Clara when I played Alter Guys, they only came up once. On a group two, a couple of times, they only Phoenix multiple times. Um, I don't know, man. Uh, I like Boros and I, I, I like the OTK, but I feel like it might not be needed anymore. Um, Unicorn was cool, but again, I don't know. Maybe I'll, change some, I'll start changing something up in the extra deck. I just kept going into, into the Sky Shaker cards. I barely went into anything else. Um, we're going to side deck now. Playing three Mind Control. Uh, for the mirror again, you don't want to, the mirror is like one of the most grandiest games you'll play and you really need to have the advantage over your opponent uh, So yeah, it's a necessity now, especially with with, 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 with your opponent ha if you go second and your opponent has Widow Anchor It's this this, this can win you the game uh, Three Mind Crush um, And vote Sky Striker evilly match it wins you games um, Three evilly match for uh, Ultra Guys and Draco and any rogue deck that you play, um, this kind of was a blowout card for me. I kept I kept drawing it when I played Draco. I played seen three Dracos in my, in my OTS, and every time game two I would I would just two old them all. Game one I would win, and then game two I would just draw this, and I pretty much won after that. Um, and again, Typhoon, same thing. I would uh, end up drawing this and this. I would evenly match them, or I would uh, or the standby phase they would end up activating like a Gozen or a Rival or a anti spell fragrance or an order, and I would just chain this and they go to the main battle phase and end up evenly matching them and just winning the game. So it was, it was pretty much very broken. Um, and then the, the tech card of the week that I, I'm really happy Orlando told me to play it was Kaiju uh, Gamma Seal. I almost uh, also played Cherry, but I don't know, this is better in the mirror. They end up setting like four back row and they're like pass. You, you go main phase, you kaiju them, and they're pretty much all their back rows dead. And I'm hitting Twin Twister, so I'm gonna just Twin Twister their whole back row, go into the Afterburner, Jammy Wave, and just kill them. And by and, and by by uh, by their turn, they're gonna have nothing else, no multi row, no nothing, and pretty much just a kaiju, and they can't do anything. So that was uh, that was pretty cool. Thanks, Orlando. I want to give a shout out to uh, Walter Jewel, Cedar Chavez, Marco, uh, my sponsor, San Cedro Games. Uh, Orlando, Malicious, anybody that helped me test, my friend Eddie that's here in the back. Um, thank you guys so, so much for helping me out. I didn't. I was one, 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 um, one game away from topping my uh, Mexico City. Unfortunately, I tied, so this was really cool to win the OTS. Um, I'll see you guys all in Pasadena. That's my next big tournament. All right, man. Chef out.